Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. I am very excited today. I'm going to be showing you a really good core routine you can do seated on your chair. So this routine is perfect for people who either have desk jobs, they can't get out of their desk. So if you want just a quick routine that you can do at work to activate your inner core, stabilize your lower back, then this is the perfect one. It's also good for seniors and people who have issues getting on the floor or doing uh, standing core routines. You wanna focus when you're doing your exercises and keeping your core tight. So this is really important. Uh, otherwise, we can compensate by using the hip flexors when we're doing these exercises. So this is the key thing I want you to remember. Just maintain that tightness when you're doing the exercises and make sure that you're using those abs to lift your legs and do these movements. The other thing as well is just try to keep that lower back as stable as possible. Avoid rounding your lumbar spine too much and just follow my directions when I'm going through these exercises with you. I'm gonna try to do 30 seconds for each set and take a short break and continue again 30 seconds for the next exercise. But if you need to take a break in between, definitely do so. Go at your own pace. So the first exercise, we're just gonna start with a few uh, knee lifts. So one thing you can do to make all of these exercises easier, you can just push your hips a little bit back towards the chair to get more support. Um, I would just sit kind of in the middle there to still challenge your core a little bit more. And then you can of course move your glutes or your hips towards the end of the chair so that you can challenge your core more. So um, the further back you are, the easier the exercise is going to be. You're just gonna take a deep breath, engage your core, and we're just gonna lift the knee up and down. Again, make sure that you're using your abdominals. And don't hold your breath. All right, take a break. Next exercise, we're gonna straighten the, those legs. Just gonna bring them towards our arms at a diagonal. So we're gonna be right leg, left hand. Use your core to lift those legs. You can keep your knees bent slightly, so you don't have to have your leg completely straight. All right, now you can hold, you can use the handles of your chair uh, for support. We're just gonna do gentle knee tucks. So just tuck your knee and bring your feet down. Make sure to use your lower abdominals to lift your legs. For the knee raises, I want you to really focus on using those lower abdominals to lift your knees up. We're gonna keep the feet off the floor. So it's a little bit of a challenging exercise. It's really gonna work your abs um, and also of course activate your core as well. So this is what it's gonna look like. You can either use the handles, or you can use uh, the cushion side here. You can just keep your hands off, the, off of the chair if you want additional challenge so we're just gonna keep the legs up bring your knee in and back to straight You're using the core again to bring those legs in All right, so for the next exercise, it's gonna be an easier one. So I want you to have your hands behind your head. 
we're gonna be putting in elbow to opposite knee just activating the inner core and using your abdominals again to bring that knee up breathe in engage your core break so for the next exercise again just kind of sit at the edge of the chair here I'm gonna lean back and just perform the bicycle movements so again make sure your core is engaged stabilize your lower back your core engaged, those abs tight. And take a break. If you're doing an exercise and you're feeling that your lower back is acting up, just take a break. We don't want to push that. So um, always make sure that you keep your core engaged. Use the back, use the backrest for support if you need to, but it's always it's so important to just focus on the core working, those abs working, and not feel any tension in your lower back as you're doing these exercises. All right, so the last exercise again, just gonna do lengthening one leg at a time. Keep your core engaged. do another set of the knee tucks this time we'll just aim to touch the arm the, the, the hands and touch back down again okay so in, really fully engage that core now use your lower abdominals to get those knees up Aim to get those knees to touch the arms or the hands. These are really challenging exercises. I know that some people think that chair exercises are easy or don't work, but these are really challenging. If you do the sequence two times, you're gonna feel your abs working, you're gonna feel your core working. All right, so if you can get up of your chair and just kind of do some gentle stretches for your hips, standing quad stretches on each side to kind of release any tightness from the hip flexors just in case you've used them a little bit for um, some of these exercises so that will help to release that tightness so you can get the benefits of the sequence in in terms of activating your core but then releasing any tightness in the hip flexor so that can that will really go a long way if you're feeling like your core really needs work and you're really lacking that strength in your core, maybe you're not feeling your core, I highly recommend that you grab the Deep Core Mini Training uh, because that program is kind of the foundation of helping you feel your core working, activating those inner core muscles, all the way to strengthening them. So I highly recommend the program. The link is below the video and there's also a five day series in that program to get you to just not, not even feeling your core, not even knowing how to use it to get in you to actually feel it, use it, and helping you relieve that lower back pressure and tightness that happens from a lack of core strength. So I hope that you've enjoyed this chair core activation sequence that you can do at work. It's also great for seniors, people who are having trouble getting on the floor, and I will leave the link to all of the resources uh, to help you with core strength below this video.